Hello, I'm Pastor Lauren Corvubius, and I want to share with you about my book, The New Awakening. I believe it's very important that we would understand that we are moving in a new day in God and a new season, and it requires for us to have a paradigm shift, a new mindset in order for us to fully appreciate all that God has for us. One of the important scriptures of this book is recorded in chapter three, and it's from the scripture of Hosea chapter six, verse one, that says this, "'Come, let us return to the Lord, for he has torn, but he will heal us, and he will bind us up. After two days he will revive us, but on the third day he will raise us up that we may live in his sight." I really believe with all my heart, this is the time when God's saying to us, it's time for us to rise up. Time to become the people that God has called us to be, a vital tool in God's plan for planet Earth. And in this concept about a third day, he talks about moving beyond revival. Being from a Pentecostal charismatic perspective and background, the concept of revival is very, very important to us. We love to come into the presence of the Lord and sometimes set aside times where we just get a refreshing from God. I love revival, but the Bible says there's a step beyond revival, and that's what it means to be awakened. When you go through an awakening, all of a sudden God is able to change your perspective about Him and also yourself and also the world in which we live. And so it's very vital that we would allow ourselves to be drawn into a new level in God and to allow ourselves to have a change of mindset. Rather than thinking about, I need a revival, I need a revival, I need to say, wait a minute, I've been revived, I'm alive. It's time for me to stand up, arise in the earth, and take the place that God has for me. The church I was trained in, Bethesda Missionary Temple in Detroit, Michigan, was a very vital role of a church in the time of the 1948 Latter Rain Revival. But the day came when God spoke to Sister Beale, who was the pastor of the church, and said, it's time for sanity and service. It's time to just shut down the revival mode that you've been in and just have church and have a place for people to mature. Well, there was always a sense of revival there, but teaching began to take the place of just being encouraged. And there was a process whereby they could be ready for the next move of God. And I believe that's what God's saying to us right now. He's saying, now, you've had your revivals and that concept will never go away, but we have to understand that God's saying to us, it's a time for an awakening when we can begin to arise in a whole new way and fulfill the plans and purposes of God for us. Ezekiel chapter 47, he had a vision of a river that flowed from the throne of God, but there were also trees of righteousness. God's planting on the banks of the river. And the Bible says that those trees were for healing and for medicine. Do you know we're called to be healers and medicine for the world in which we live? It can only come when we take that next step into the plans and purposes of God.